we found something. Attention citizens, sentinels are looking for potential residents for the cradle. Find the peace in, safe, in the safe cradle, conserve your memory and contribute to Zion's energy and resource shortage. To dispel malicious rumors that sentinels are forcing citizens into the cradle, potential cradle residents will have a meeting with the prophet and will be able to accompany the witness during the move in process. Move in process. Uh, we hope for your participation. We the Sentinels promise to protect Zion's peace with our lives. Sentinel Captain Man. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully we are on the good guy's side. <laughs> How did I miss that one? <laughs> I feel like there should be outfits in the wasteland. Like we've only found how many? I uh, found the holiday rabbit one. Other than that, did we find another one? Most of them we've, we've gotten from uh, stores. Tricky. Well, we still have a lot of missions to do. Um, but in this episode, I think I'm gonna go back to Idol 7. And we're also gonna go to the plaza. Because there was... Yeah, that flood needs to be drained somehow. And how we do that, we'll see. The closest is here. Honestly, I can listen to Stellar Blade music all day. Is this it? Yeah, it's a rundown drone made building. But <laughs> I still like it. Let's head up. Also, we're searching for Eric. Or however you pronounce her name. Arin? Or Erin? Is it up there maybe? Although, why would she be at Digger's place? This was Digger's place, right? Yeah, that's a negative on the missing girl and the stolen goods. Hmm. All right, let's investigate. We could ask the maintenance drone some questions as well. Maybe this wasn't his place. Aaron's journal. Dad turned weird after he got this item. He's fighting other scavengers trying to get useless stuff just because it looks similar to that thing. All the sentinels hate him. I can't stand it. This thing's got to be cursed. I would love to take it for far away and smash the thing to pieces. But Dad thinks so dearly of it. I can't bring myself to do it. For the first time in my life, I wished I could be more cold-hearted. I'm going to take this thing to the container yard, where it can't be found ever again. I'm sure Dad will give up with time and he'll stop obsessing over it. I just want things to go back to normal. You know what? I am on the kid side on this one. Like, why would you get obs obsessed Hello, with a statue? May I help you? Ooh. Someone came here earlier, right? With a statue. Do you know where she is? Little girl was here. She was going to bury gilt bronze standing Buddha. There it is, container yard, nearby. That's Continue. what it said. Got it. That girl's nothing but trouble. Well, 
At least I know roughly where she is. What is she even doing in a place like this? Let's find her, and fast. Yeah. Guess we're not the only ones being worried. Adam sounded plenty worried. And yeah, why would she go all the way here? For what purpose? Could have just thrown it over the bridge of Sion. Maybe she thinks it's like cursed with a spirit or something and she has to do some kind of ritual? <gasps> what happens if there's a ghost? Well, then it's gonna turn into a horror game. Oh my god, I don't like that. I'm not prepared. Yo, you guys know how I was in Altes Levoir. I... I got jump scared too many times. And I'm gonna play Resident Evil 2. I don't feel prepared, but I think Resident Evil 4 was... It was scary, okay? It was really scary for me. But it, it wasn't unbearable, you know? Hmm, now where can she be? You know what? I'm really hoping we actually find her alive. But we haven't had such luck with finding bodies that weren't unalived. I cannot get enough of that move. But that is so cool. <laughs> I love that pose. <laughs> but where is she? Oh! Really? No! Be here somewhere, right? At the container yard. What? Oh my god, we are getting bamboozled. I can use the drone as well, but that doesn't make me better at fighting. Hmm. I'm just gonna run around. Someone please help! Posters are trying to kill me! Okay. She's I'm here tight. somewhere. I'm coming. Where exactly is this kid? I don't remember a place called Container Yard. Is she in a car, maybe? It sounded close. Hmm. But it's... It's over there. The quest marker says over there, but... But where do I... Is it on... The mountain? I don't see anything. How do I even get up there? Maybe it's where we found Aaron's body? Could it be? I'm just like wondering how far did she get? Like it... Didn't it say, like, around the villa? So here somewhere... I'm 
wondering if she actually smashed the the statue or didn't. Maybe she got second thoughts. But you know what? Uh, if she doesn't, I think I'm gonna smash it for her. Just because um, the dad's obsession with that statue just seemed very unhealthy. Like, is it like a cursed doll? Like a haunted doll? Like Annabelle? <laughs> spooky. Real spooky. Right. There is a place I need to go to as well. Um, since we have the double jump now, we can go and do those those jumps. You know the sticks that were just hanging hanging out of the stone walls in the wasteland. I haven't gone to those yet. I don't know where it takes me. Aha, uh -huh. I was like, where's the turret? Okay, she's not here. And there's no loot here. Oh. Whoa. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why I assumed that there probably would be some kind of uh, respawn. Or maybe there would be a character there. I don't know. Since we've gotten so many quests since we got the other hypercell to the hyperdrive I thought that maybe there would be more NPCs out here in the wastelands as well well technically we have Erin here but she didn't start out here at least we know she's alive if it's not the statue talking <gasps> wouldn't that be really spooky if she's somehow not alive and this statue is just mimicking her voice this is not a horror game okay but it could as well be because that Lost Ark was frightening. Like, it was so sinister. Well, I knew it wouldn't be sunshines and rainbows. <laughs> but that also makes it very much more interesting. Why did I never look up? Why did I never look up? Okay. We are to get up here some way, somehow. Is there like a secret path? Or do I need to go the regular? Oh my god, I love this outfit. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. And just like the color scheme is really nice. And this is also why I don't think I'll be switching up the hair color. Because dark hair just looks so good in almost all colors. Like I, I can't think of any color that doesn't suit dark hair. Although blue hair would look pretty cool with this. Okay, we're gonna go this path. Ooh, ooh that went a little bit too quick. <laughs> I love that um, Eve just has maximum stamina. She does not stop. 
Usually in games you can't sprint forever, but Eve, she can. Just wait, she'll probably sprout wings. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, I was not prepared! I was not prepared. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh, this is not good. There's Natibas here. Nateba bugs. Let's see if we can find anything else here. Just in case. I think she was down there, but I just want to check. And there was no shortcut up here, right? No. Doesn't look like it. Wow. There she is. She's alive. <laughs> Angel? Why are you here? I could ask you the same. Did you come all the way here to hide the standing Buddha? How did you know that? Long story. Anyway, you shouldn't get rid of that. Why don't you talk it out with him? If you say so, I'll do it. But Eve, what if it's haunted? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Why if... What, what if... It comes after us? Okay. Let's not touch it, okay? Let's not touch it. Uh, Rin, what on earth were you thinking? Surely you didn't. Adorable. Wait, it's not what you think. I think you should hear what she has to say first. Rin? Dad, this object is definitely cursed. You stare at this all day, mumbling, and you fight people. This thing doesn't protect us. It is breaking us apart. We used to be happy without it. Oh, my, my child. So I tried to hide it away forever, but eventually I brought it back. You're right, my sunshine. I should have known you'd never take something from me without good reason. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm so sorry, Aaron. Dad. Angel, will you take this? You can either keep it or throw it away. <laughs> the statue? Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. What if it's Thank you, Angel. No problem. I just want you and your father to be happy, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm happy for them. I hope we don't have a demon after us. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Welcome, Angel. I open the store again thanks to you. Stop by anytime. <gasps> I want to see what you got. Shop. Light of the Colony. Okay, he got the books. Let's get that. The light that shined over so br brightly has gone missing into the darkness. Call it his light, the glorious time of the universe. So what if we can't go back to the past? We will not be sad. We will remain in the world and sing for the mother. Light of the colony. Hmm. Where did he get all these books? Angel accepting shed tears. When the sorrow of the day, the sky collapsed is forgotten. When the wisdom of the mother is buried in the debris. When those who were left behind are no longer remembered, and when survival, oblivion, and despair becomes as one, angels shall descend from the sky. Hmm. Seems like um, religious people wrote these. I wonder if their librarian would like to have these. For a better world. Inequality, oppression, immorality, there are many. Uh, 
there are many things in this world that cannot be solved by a single free will. I will combine them all with Mother's Fear and banish them with our unified wisdom. That's how our faith was born. Maybe he was into these books and thought that the statue did something. Like it was something paranormal. Angel, my humble establishment Ooh. is at your service. Radio. Oh, oh my god. Pretty. This one is uh, okay. It looks like a modern day suit. Uh, our innovation is for the betterment of humanity, and the betterment of humanity is our way to innovation. Raphael Marx, do you see the moon? The orbit elevator can be seen right below it, though it may look like just a little stick from here. Raphael Marx, we really need to be finding this guy if he's alive. He just comes up here and there now. Very interesting. For the betterment of humanity. So, he seems like a good guy. But he was working with Mother Sphere. He created Mother Sphere. Do you want to know who we are? We don't just think. We create a new way of thinking. We are your companions. We are your friends. Lover. Family. We are always by your side. We march even onward toward a brighter future. Nothing is impossible and nothing limits us. Idos Company, the leader in human innovation. This is also has to do with Raphael Marx. Because Idos? Hmm. This is really interesting, you guys. Hopefully he's out there somewhere. Yay! Increased affinity. I'm so glad oh. to see you again. Oh. Ren and I have been hard at work. To I keep like this. Place this. Going. Now this is. <gasps> Get this immediately! Oh my gosh! This is so beautiful. <gasps> I like this one as well. But wow! I didn't even see the name of it. <laughs> Mother Sphere's wisdom and power enabled her to read the future, and she told her readings of the future to her followers like an oracle. I tried investigating her zealots, looking for evidence in order to uncover the truth, yet I failed to do so. However, I eventually made some progress, which I leave here to aid my fellow truth seekers. Find the hidden cave in the Great Canyon, and the secret cave in the Great Canyon. Find the forgotten chapter of trial there. We have found one in the wasteland. Tattered report. Ooh, interesting. Lily is from the colony. She hasn't heard an anything about Raphael Marx. Adam hasn't heard anything about Raphael Marx either. Scavenger Ion's second note on the Eve protocol. I must say, the angel's memory was conveniently lacking a few important details. She didn't know a thing about the history before the final war, and about the old humankind. Is it because she's a weapon, who doesn't need to know more than what is required for her mission? Well, they're not exactly great weapons, if they keep failing their mission. All those meaningless deaths and failures at this point. I really wanted to ask Mother Sphere herself what what in the hell she's been doing in the past few decades or so to perfect her magnum opus, the Eve Protocol. May your mem memories live on forever. May we find salvation. You don't think that just Mother Sphere is bullcrap? The Eve Protocol, magnum opus. So Eve was 
Well, well we, we kind of knew she was created as a weapon. Why does it feel like I already read this? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I just got like a flashback or something. Angel, you're always welcome here. Thank you. Well, glad I could help. Mm, I seem to be done here for now. You know what I'm gonna go do? I'm gonna go get that outfit. Oh, it is so pretty, you guys. And it just screams, Young Take Him. Like, uh, the design. Oh. I love it. It's like if I ever do a cosplay, I have so many outfits that I wanna do. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so pretty. Like, it has like this gothic feel to it. Junk mechanic. <laughs> I just love it so much. It's so pretty. I'm gonna get this one as well. Oh my gosh, and this one. This one looked more like modern, but I liked it. This one, let's get this one as well. We might need a bathing suit. We might. Wow. Oh, and look at the shoes. How does it look sitting down? Pretty. Oh my god, I love it. It's so beautiful. Like, who would not want to wear this? Look at the details and the back, the shorts. <gasps> the side pocket, oh my gosh. This is like so feminine, cute, and plus cool. It's so nice looking. I just love that the details are on point. Like, it's not too much. And the colors, I love the color coordination. So, so, so pretty. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna have a tough time deciding, deciding on outfits. I mean, we're just at the beginning of the game, right? And there's gonna be so many nano suits. It's gonna be so difficult choosing what to wear without without switching clothes every 15 minutes. Because I'm also thinking like this. What if there's a cutscene? And I want to see this outfit in a cutscene. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm also thinking like, huh, I would like this outfit in a cutscene because can be used as a thumbnail, for example. Ooh, we had a mission. Right. And I really like how how the sword is a hair accessory. Like that is that is so creative. Like all of these outfits that I've been just fawning over. They're all so creative. Like, in my mind, I could not create these. But you know who can? Kyung, take him. He can. Ooh! Oh my god, I'm by the way. Oh my I'm gonna have a hard time letting go of this game. I feel it right now. And I am not a person who 100% games. If, if there's 
not something like, oh, there's a very good ending if you 100% the game. Like I was told when I played Final Fantasy X-2, I was told that you will want to get the perfect ending. And then when I... <laughs> When I knew that, oh, you had to 100% it, I was like, oh my god, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> I had to redo so much to get the perfect ending. Was it worth it? Heck yeah, it was. So, if Stellar Blade has the same, you know what? That is fine with me. Because it's so much fun. <laughs> Like in 10 2, it did become a hassle to like get the perfect ending. But you know what? I don't care what I have to redo in Stellar Blade. Because if if I for some reason get bored, I'll just, you know, switch my outfit and switch my mood. <laughs> Then it'll go better. Like, why aren't there more more games where you can switch up outfits? It is so much more fun that way. And the fact that MMORPGs are the ones that have all of that. You know, all the fun outfits, all the like fashion choices, anything like that. I'm like, mm, but I'm a single player kind of gamer. If I if I wanna do MMO, I want to play with someone. Like I I get bored. Ooh. But maybe I've been thinking that maybe it'll be fun with, uh, you know, playing an online MMORPG while streaming. I think that would be fun. I did play Blade and Soul with my bestie. And she even got a new computer to play it. But then we just stopped. I think she didn't really have time. And for me I was like, well I don't want to play without her. A passcode for this. Where are you, passcode? Can we not hack? Adam, did you not say that the drone could hack? Come on, it really does look like an outfit box. So I really want to get in there. Hmm. Light of hope, treasure, taboo. Oh, right. Do, 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 do. Generous drop pod. Ooh, that one as well. Uh, open the container with the passcode and investigate inside. Putting faith in religion at a time like this. Jeez, why waste your time praying when you could be scavenging? Anyway, further investigation is needed. If there's a passcode specialist out there, come take a look. If there's something useful inside, it's a blessing for Zion. If not, oh well. It looks like... It looks like it is a box with uh, an outfit. So it's gonna be a blessing for me. And everyone else watching. <laughs> oh my god, this is so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this.
I love it so much. So pretty. This is in league with the keyhole dress. Not kidding. It is. This is so pretty. The details are just so well thought of. I really want it! It's probably something very pretty as well. Okay. Oh, I thought I would die there. Oh. Good thing we didn't. Hmm. Oh, this guy. I love that the clothing isn't stiff either. Why, why can't I open this? Yeah, right. Smash it open. Uh... Oh, something with this. Does it have to do with these balls? <gasps> Let me get another one. Whoa, whoa. Where's the other one? Oh, right, I yeeted one. What if it didn't respawn? Well, then I have no clue where it is. Mess these guys up pretty bad. We're gonna do an ambush. Okay, Horsey, you wait there. <gasps> no! How did you? Oh, I was told on. Oh my gosh. It was a trap. I see how it is. So the tentacles and this guy, they are in sync. Do that, could, did you? I'm just here for the ball. Oh, there it is. Was it here all the time? This is not where I yeeted it. I would like more ammo though. <laughs> ball let's see if I can <gasps> wait a minute it almost looked like I could stare it oh <gasps> yes I can what no this is so cool go <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Every time I'm gonna get a soda can or something, I'm gonna pose. <laughs> but I rarely drink soda. Maybe if someone else is drinking it, I'm gonna just snatch it from them, pose, and give it back. They're 100% gonna think I'm crazy, but... Right, 
Where was that, pl that place again? Where you could do the jumps? Mm, should see some red flags here somewhere. Would this act of revenge be enough? Revenge will be enough? Probably not. Revenge is never enough. Because it's more about the person actually just coping with it in a different way than getting revenge. It might make you feel temporarily good, but. I mean, you still lost that person, so... Killing off the Natibas, the hedgehogs, won't really suffice. Ouch! Was it here? It should be here somewhere. And also, I need to do the double jump because I didn't get this yet. Come on, Eve Strong. Ooh. Oops. Why can't I? If she can grab onto that pole sticking out or whatever it is something so we can double jump mm -hmm. isn't that like a ledge where we can stand on is it Eve, you got really nice legs. What? Yay! We're up. Another one. <laughs> We're just getting them all. Probably missed a couple in the other place, but we're gonna go back. For sure, there's gonna be several in the flooded area because that was huge when we did the scanning. Oh, wait a minute! Whoa! Chapter Trial 5. Eight days upon eight days upon eight days upon eight days upon eight days shall pass. When the land is barren and the heavens empty, and when humans meddle wisdom and mother are forgotten, the angels will come. Well, we here now, at least I am, and that raven girl as well. If something bad didn't happen to her. What does this save mankind or what? Was not prepared. So cool. I love doing the ambush. But that's just for like quick SP. But it's better to fight, because then you get more used to it. 
and you get more used to the patterns of how these monsters fight. Because some of some of the attacks they do, you can completely dodge them. If you jump at a certain time. Where was it? I know it was here somewhere. Where you could climb. No! I almost got you. You know what? You can just fight amongst each other because I'm searching for something. Just gonna dodge everyone. <gasps> okay, I think this is it. <gasps> yes, this is where it was. This. This right here. <gasps> no! <laughs> I'm getting attacked. <laughs> I thought it was gonna head towards me. <gasps> Didn't see him here! <gasps> Getting bamboozled. Oh. <gasps> Did you see his roll? Like, that was savage. Are you sure you guys don't want to be on my team? <gasps> At least this big guy. With the axes. Were you an angel prior to this? Oh, oh my god, he's messing me up! What? I have never... Like, why is it so angry? This is the angriest i ever seen it! <gasps> Almost got totally bamboozled back to camp. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get up here. Yay! Oh my god, it is so aesthetically pleasing just seeing her climb like this. It looks so effortless. I love it. They must have had so much fun just just animating all of this. I wonder who the motion capture is. <laughs> Look how pretty! Oh my gosh, the outfit, you guys. This is so pretty! <laughs> uh, can we make it? Is far yeah I don't think we can make it uh, let's try come on <laughs> no <laughs> darn it but there's a bridge up there I am gonna go up there somehow some way let's try again let's try again until I am on that ledge. Or is there another way? Maybe I'm not even supposed to go that way. Hmm, tricky tricky. Let's go. Okay. 
onto that ledge. Come on. Oh, oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, no. Okay, I already dropped down three times. Ah, there we go. We did it. What? What? What exactly is below me? Well, we're not gonna do a jump. We're just hanging here, hanging around, just having fun. <laughs> Can we jump? <gasps> Ooh, don't get me down! Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried. Okay. okay. No! How did you see me? Oh. Life with a present so strong as he is. It's like these Natibas can just like feel her beautiful presence and like, oh, what is it? Oh, I almost thought something was coming out of the ground. Huh, this could just be open. <laughs> I wonder if she can like taste test all of these. Oh! An airborne squad member. I can't get over that animation. It looks so pretty. I don't think I've ever been so... so in awe with an aesthetic like I have been in Stellar Blade. Like Elden Ring, for sure, very aesthetic, but more like this gothic kind of scary vibe. But Elden Ring's landscape is just beautiful. Beautiful, and then there are these kind of more like darker, creepier, but still beautiful. But Stellar Blade is also very aesthetically pleasing. I could have it like a screensaver for my TV. Like, get the Samson Frame one. Can you have like GIFs on that? Or just. You know. Run a clip? came up here like don't I don't want to die up here we are in danger oh no wait we have a VB pump let's go let's go let's go Retribution! No! Uh, <laughs> did you see that body? <laughs> it just rolled down. L almost like a liquid. Interesting. <laughs> I love doing the double jumps. It's so pretty. And it looks like oh, Eve waits like a feather. <gasps> uh oh, uh oh, 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 o
get back there <laughs> let's go okay we up here again oh didn't see this before y yes I did I was here <laughs> never mind <laughs> never mind <laughs> Uh, I'm confusing myself. Well, this time, it didn't see us. You two, turn around. Turn around. Not now. Ah. Ah. Yay! It worked. Now we know that there's a tentacle at the end of that bridge. And not only that, we know that there are these bugs over there as well. Bam! <laughs> it just looks so fun. Don't try me! Darn it, I wanna do retribution. Come on over here. Ooh, at least I didn't get pushed off the ladder. No, bridge. Almost forgot about you. Ah. Why aren't you coming over here? Hmm. Can I get up? Uh, hopefully. It wasn't far off that drop, so I'll definitely get up there again. <laughs> the first one hmm. anything here anything of interest I feel like I have to say it again like I absolutely love the fact that these clothings do not have stats because that way I can wear whatever I want. That is so nice. We're just back up here. Hmm. should be something up here, shouldn't there? Like, it can't just be full of natibas, but no loot. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to clear this place. sound like dinosaurs. Hmm. 
over here. That outfit. Oh my god. Don't be like this. You guys know Eve is gonna absolutely slay that outfit. Just let her have it, okay? <gasps> what? Oh, you, you just waited for your turn. Smush me! <laughs> oh. It didn't smush, but it's slapped. <laughs> what? what? What is in here that you guys want so bad? Okay, now give it to me. Huh? Junk man. Junk man. What? What is that kind of outfit? Is it for you? Like we have junk mechanic, but junk man. Hmm? Or uh, oh, is it for Adam? That's probably who it is for. Although I like his outfit. I do. The one he has now looks really good. But maybe Junkman will look a little bit like Junk Mechanic. Oh my god, couple outfit. We could do that, definitely. Do a couple's outfit. Maybe he himself will have some skin showing. <laughs> I think we might be done up here. jump from there oh oh we're just back here did I really ignore this guy maybe I did oh my god look at the back oh it is so pretty you guys Details put into these nano suits is just it's amazing to see. Well Ah, no fall damage. I rolled. <laughs> sometimes I perfect the roll and sometimes I don't. But if you press X you can you can roll. And then you don't gain any damage. Really know where I'm going right now. I'm just checking if we can find more of those trials altars. We've already found two of them. Should I go to the scrapyard? this one ah come on <laughs> ah, he's not after me anymore okay then I was gonna do an assault but <laughs> oh, 
I did not expect these guys to be here pointing at me pointing their guns at me really? that's so rude towards a lady at that very rude hmm okay guys I think we are done running around the Oops. wasteland <laughs> This is such chill music. Someday all Naitibas will be wiped out from Earth. Please live on for the sake of your son. He would have wanted it as well. Yeah. Because the revenge is not gonna be enough. Looks That's something we know. Hi Roxanne! You don't got any new outfits for me, so... Whoa! I'll talk to you later. <laughs> how... Okay. <laughs> this is how far we can get. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I tried. It's gonna be... It's gonna feel so empty when I'm done with this game. <laughs> like... I feel like I wanna be in this world for a long, long, long time. And I really hope that this isn't just gonna be one game and then there's not gonna be a sequel. So, so I'm kinda worried that the end will just wrap it up like there's no like to be continued or anything and like i'm not even close to finishing this game and i'm already like thinking that i don't want to leave this game let's go to matrix 11 Although, we are gonna go back. We'd better take the alpha signal meter over to the tetrapod before heading out to Matrix 11. I'm just gonna There's go to Matrix 11. Material, right? Just to see what kind of cutscene we get and hopefully we can go back because we need to go to Idol 7 and the plaza. Mm, pretty much done. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting for this. Are you ready to leave? Yes, we are ready to leave. All preparations are complete. Finally! Looks like the time has come to test out the Alpha Signal Meter. Yes, and if it functions as intended, things should be a lot easier. Alright, let me take you to Matrix 11. Oh my god, take me anywhere! <laughs> Just not to a scary place. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I please stop? It's just pixels. It's just pixels. Why am I like this? And why is a pixelated man getting me all shy? Like, why am I here sitting and giggling? <laughs> oh? Interesting, how is this gonna look? Oh, a station? Okay, we just used up all the parking spaces. Okay. 
Okay. Like it's so quiet. When I wasn't in camp. Anything behind? I saw something. A human. Oh. But didn't say anything. This is what I saw. Conditioning. I'm pretty Our sure you can fix that. Retrieval of the Alpha Core. Come back to the Tetrapod at any time for maintenance. Mm, actually, we're gonna travel to another region. How about Idol 7? Why wasn't... Wait. Did I even see the plaza? I didn't even think about it. Well, we are gonna go over there. We have the train, if we need it. And back to this wonderful music. Maybe there's like NPCs that have spawned over here. That's why I'm gonna check the previous places. I never swam here, did I? <gasps> no, I did not. Because then I would have seen this. Going up, 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 up. Oh, right. What did we need to have to do here? Mm, something about the library. And then we had... Well, we need to go to the Hall of Records. But that is where the flooded place is. <laughs> it looks so fun. And there might be places... Oh, yes! Look over there! <gasps> Wait a minute... I love how the music gets, like, muffled when, when we're under the water. genius <laughs> there was probably another way to do that but uh, only death remains in this city uh, humans who've lost all hope have locked themselves up and are waiting to for death to take them I think some areas of the orbit elevator are still functional let's use that to head out into space yes I want to head out into space. I want to see how it looks. But also I want to meet up Mother Sphere. And why have we not been contacted? Like, it feels strange. 
that we're technically Mother Sphere's army, but she has not even once contacted us. Maybe she will eventually. And also this creator, Raphael Marx, is he also back at the colony? Or what happened to him? What if Mother Sphere turned on him? Like with the machines. Machines, the humans created the machines, the machines turned on the humans. Raphael created Mother Sphere, who then turned on him. And is Raphael the real name, or is it like, is there another code name? like the ocean where I cannot swim can I no looks dangerous I'm just gonna scavenge around here you know what would be nice if we had we had more dialogue going on with um, Lily and Adam like it doesn't have to be towards Eve it could be like you could hear them through the drone like Lily and Adam interacting I think there would be some really fun interactions <laughs> because they talk as if they're siblings they're, they're pretty fun Ooh, look at that statue. Whoa. Look at this statue. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, there's gonna be one of those invisible ones here. Wherever it is. No. Oh, okay. Once you defeat it, it doesn't come back. I got it, I got it. Can I go up here? But Adam and Lily doesn't seem to know much at all about this Raphael Marx either. And how long has Lily been at the colony? Wouldn't she be told about Raphael? Or is Mother Sphere keeping that a secret? Ooh, we could actually go up here. Uh-huh. Okay. Hello, mister. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wait, what if this is Raphael Marx? <laughs> I mean, it could very well be. So... Can I... Can I do something else? Um... Huh. Really? I found it very strange. What? To oh. not be able to do anything once up there. Was it just to get a uh, good wallpaper or something? <laughs> Maybe it's just like a posing spot. Or I need to wait for a specific uh, quest.
Well, now I'm curious about that statue. <laughs> I don't know if we can make the jump or not. No, we can't. Nope. Oops. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna figure that one out. So, if you guys know anything about that statue, do tell me. Hmm. If that statue led somewhere. Didn't look like it did, but... Tried to smoosh it, but it didn't work either. Huh. I don't think I've been here. Nice being back here and just, you know, be stronger. Just showing up to the same enemies being like, Haha, you remember me, don't you? I'm much stronger now. with a gold circle engraved on it. The Book of Faith. I used to read that all the time. Hmm. Let's see. The words of the devout Felix. Therefore we will do, do Mother Sphere's bidding on earth as it is in heaven. It's all a lie. We've all been tricked. It wasn't the monsters killing us, but Mother Sphere. Whoever is reading this, listen up. I, Felix, a once devout believer, do so declare, Mother Sphere is a false god, a living cala calamity trying to kill us. Did you draw over the contents of the Book of Faith? It's a lot easier to keep faith when you're not staring death in the face. Wait! What? Did you draw out- why would Eve say that to Adam? Did Adam draw over it, or was she talking about Felix? Uh, I'm confused. But so, this devout believer, Felix, he was a believer of Mother's Fear, that she was some kind of salvation. And then, and then no. But what made him change? That is very interesting. Why would a very devout believer like that change? Hmm. Something must have happened, right? Oh, uh, maybe I'm reading into it. We'll see. Oh. I don't know what to believe. Like it can it could be Oracle who's No but 
Oracle hasn't really said or done anything. No. Like... There's nothing that Oracle has done that I'm like, huh, that seems very, very strange. Other than... Other than the notes that we have found that have been against Oracle, but also those notes and posters they've been from these radicals as well. Mm, it's so tricky. Like, uh, mm. But right now I'm thinking that Oracle is good, Adam is good, Lily is good, Mother Sphere. I don't know. You're not contacting us. And without contacting us. Mm -mm. And also Eve being created as like a weapon. Mm -mm. I don't know. It seems weird. Like why would you need to create soldiers basically? Is it only to finish off the Natibas? We don't know. Maybe it's something else as well. Hmm. Guys, this is such a fascinating story. So far, I am uh, very deep into this story. And I, I just started playing. But I feel like we've gotten like so many clues, we've gotten so much information that I feel like maybe we could pick sides and know kind of what's happening. But then again, I really do like getting like blindsided totally in a game and being like, oh, I never knew. Hmm. We're gonna see if we're gonna have a moment like that. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye!